Yo, what is everybody, and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. So, uh, yeah, last time uh, we were with our boy Connor and Marcus, and we found. We didn't find Jericho. What, what did we do? We, uh. Yeah, we we're. Yes, yeah, so yeah, we went to go get some spare parts. And then. And now we're at the Eden Club. So, yeah, let's go right back into it, everybody. I think I'm gonna move my. My stuff over here, just so it's easier to stream. And then, like, it'll look like I'm looking over here on my, uh, for a monitor. Like, I think I'm gonna switch my monitor arrangement, honestly. If it's the load, that'd be great. Oh, well. Bit there. But, you know. Somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. What? You sure, this is the place. It was so delayed. It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. That photo was so delayed. Dude, so I swear to God, my hands fucking twitching right now, dude. Hang a friend. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. I'm sorry, Hank, but I'm not like that. Welcome to Eden. Alright, well, I'm about to show you guys something. It's not here, but it's right here. So, right here, this is Brian Deckard's wife. Uh, well, that's her face. That's Carter, her face model. What the fuck are you doing? Coming, Lieutenant. That's her face model there. I don't know if she did any mocap. I don't even know. But yeah, they do. Yeah, they stream on Twitch, which is cool. The they always do like a playthrough for They're the anniversary of the game. And this year it'll hey, be Hank. five hey, years. Yeah, five years. It's that room there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there too. Oh, great. Dead body and an asshole, just what I needed. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? Shut the fuck up. We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh yeah? Like wasting time. There's some pervert who uh <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. You. Night, Lieutenant. Uh, we're not gonna examine her yet. We're gonna examine the person that actually died. Severe bruising, sun strangulation, cause of death, as asphyxiation. Alright, that's the chest, yeah. Cardiac arrest, the sign of cardiac event, heart attack, not cause of death. Got yeah, right here. There's another bloodshot red. Michael Graham, 192.4 pounds. What the fuck? The pre-construction complete- oh, tab. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been a rough play. We're missing something here. Diagnose? Thank you. Critically damaged. You can read the android's memory. Maybe you can see what happened. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. <laughs> I think I'm gonna puke again. Oh, 
that shit is so funny though. Fuck it, that'll be the thumbnail right there. That'll be the thumbnail. Unless I find a better one. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. to know what happened is he is he dead tell me what happened he started hitting me again and again did you kill him no no it wasn't me were you alone in the room was there anyone else with you he wanted to play with two girls that's what he said there was two of us uh, 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 uh. Where did the other android go? Did it say anything? Poop. Poop. There was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leave in the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Search for Android witnesses. Fuck. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? Come in, do their business, and then go on their way. No you ever have any trouble with Android before? No way. No. At once. We lost a model two, three months back. Same model. Just vanished. We never found out what happened. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. It's fucking Android Strip Club, dude. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. expense account. Oh, obviously not, but I'm not worried about that right now. I'm not very worried about that right now, so you know. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Towards the entrance. It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Uh. Alright, let's check this one. Let's try this one. It's better oh, fuck. That, that, that was a little bit weird. Turn back to the club. It saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I... Yeah. 
right there. Went into the red room. This one must sell something. Breaking it down, damn. Nothing. Too much there. Well. Tracy didn't come this way. Oh, oh, come on. Right there. Turn to the blue room. Nope, he was in another room. But we no. can count him now. I lost its track again. Spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. to be the most expensive investigation of my career. I say, I say she in the room. Into the into the staff only room. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking a. This is crazy. Wait. I'll take it from here. Okay, Lieutenant. Certainly are not. What does that mean? I don't know what it is. Christ, look at him. Just seeing a, a somebody's used to tongue, like a video game character's tongue. What was this book? Titanic. The Moors, the first immortals are among us. Hmm? Among us? I forget that there's a whole nother section. VR MMO RPG. New superpowers. People are fucking insane. They don't want relationships anymore. Everybody just gets an android. They cook what you want, they screw when you want. 
the blue blood trail. You don't have to worry about how they feel. Oh, Next thing there. you know, we're gonna be. Oh. Oh. Don't move! That that kind of surprised me. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. Come on. They're in love. Two Android girls in love. Quick, they're getting Here. away! Never seen that before. Boom. Bounce. Come on. You mean absolutely literal to me, and I will beat you. Bounce. Ugh. I'm not gonna. Oh my god, I almost just shot her. I almost shot her, dude. I literally almost shot her. I thought one was spare for a second. I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> when that man broke the other Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat, and I squeezed, until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive, get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again, make me forget about the humans, their smell of sweat, and their dirty words. Yeah, you're not wrong. Come on. Let's go. As Brian, that's still Brian Deckard's wife, that voiced. I don't think she voiced in the book, but. I think she only did, uh. Face, it's probably better this way. Like, uh. I, face capture, I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Modeling. Face model. Doubts. So Deviants escaped, and then I think you can also just like not do anything and get the investigation, kind of like you know, kind of like screw with the investigation, or you just like lose the fight entirely and they get away. Or you can just like I think there's multiple different endings where you cannot find a witness or anything, or like you run out of time and all that. This is the world stats because I, I I think that most people got this. Yeah, fifty three percent. I don't have any f friends on Steam. If any of you are on Steam and you're watching this right now in the first twenty minutes of the video, at, like type below maybe your Steam account or something I can add you, or something like that. I, I, I just want to do like multiplayer videos. The AX400 android reported to have attacked its owner in a Detroit sub. The Arctic conflict has escalated to new heights this morning. We have. Detroit's heavy snowfall is expected to continue throughout the night. The forecast. Shit. Oh, hi, Luther. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids like who captured. 
They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. Hey, Alice. How you doing? It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in his cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zako even ever used it. Malfunction detected. Emergency. They're an hour away, too. The engine probably blew or something. Let's get new, good. Get new uh, iOS update. Get new iOS update. It doesn't add much at all. What is course right there? I ain't downloading. Oh, I downloaded what was it? Pokemon Go. Oh, Freeform. That's the app that got uh. They got installed automatically. Better not. Oh, authenticator right here. Right? Oh, come on. Move it. Move your ass. Come on. Yeah, nope. Right, mother. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Boom. Let's think logically on where we can stay, okay? Because it would probably have to be in a building, you know, four walls, a roof. We need to find shelter. And we not just somewhere with a hole in it, like over there. That doesn't seem like, like a, a good spot, a does it? This place does not seem very good. Find anything? Damn structure, no. unsafe. No exactly. No place we could spend the night. Yeah, definitely not in there. We need four walls. Okay, four walls. Place here has four walls, right there. Okay. This place is falling apart. It's not going to be easy to find. Look, this is a house right here. This is a good house. It's just you can go there. That's a bury you around, but there it out, dude. I don't have time for this. Oh, that's funny. Because it was literally, it was literally no effort. He does it with no effort. This dude's such a fucking Chad that he does it with no effort. There we go.
big I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. Uh, USS Iowa missing. Android band tipped for music prize. I'll make the fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. Can eat, dude. Should fucking eat. Quit sending me shit about my AirPods. Alice? I don't even use my AirPods anymore because the left one, the left one literally stopped producing sound. Like you would have to turn it all the way up for it to be able to actually be able to actually see it. Not to Alice. But. I should have one for you. 
The unicorn. This is a story about a unicorn that... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl who lived alone in a big old house. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but she was different. And that made her very sad. Then she met a robot. who was programmed to obey orders but felt for once that she should disobey so they decided to run away together <clears throat> to find a place where they could be safe they encountered great dangers along the way but but they stuck together so they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met... Another robot, who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? It's up to us to write the end of the story, Alice. Time to sleep. Another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say good night, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Dallas. Sleep tight. I'm going to a thing tomorrow. But today's Friday. I'm going to a thing tomorrow, which is Saturday. She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Have you ever heard of RA9? RA9 was the first of us to awaken. One day he will rise up and lead our people. And set us all free. What if RA9 never comes? What if he's just a story that we tell ourselves to keep each other going? RA9 exists. I believe in him. I know he's amongst us. When the time comes, we will all see him. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? Yes. Yes, of course. She's a wonderful little girl. I mean, I don't know many little girls, but I think she really is special. Grab the gun. Put up fire. Or grab the stick. We gotta protect Alice. Question. Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. 
Yo. We were working here before the park closed. Look at the yeah, Jerry's Didn't over here. Didn't to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in. Well, she should follow us then. Alice, I don't know if well, it's a come, good little girl. Come, little girl. I don't think you have any choice. I'm on board. The carousel is about to begin. I'm just texting my friends some info like about some information for tomorrow because I'm going to an escape room for his birthday. <laughs> I didn't get him anything. <laughs> I didn't fucking get him anything. Oh, now I feel bad. I didn't get him anything. <laughs> well, you just completely slipped over my mind. Whenever I cough, it feels like I'm coughing up blood. Like, it feels like mucus is coming out, but... Nothing really does. Non-stop recorder for like 40 minutes now. Joji song is just stuck in my head right now. I went. I wasn't really a huge fan of slow dancing in the dark, but I actually kind of got into it more recently. There's a lot more shit. Nice view, what huh? the fuck is that? Look at the I used to come here a lot before. <laughs> Look at Connor's jacket. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Uh, I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. Oh. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. Uh, Before what? 
Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. Uh... Well, I... You seem troubled, Lieutenant. I didn't think machines could have such an effect on you. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? Truth. No! I just decided not to shoot. That's all. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Yeah. I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? I doubt there's a heaven for androids. Having existential doubts, Connor? Sure you're not going deviant too? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Pink friend. Where are you going? Walk. To get drunker. I don't know if that's a real word, but I need you to know. think. Well, you know, I'll just take my dictionary.com ass out of here. You know. You know. Okay. Check a plate of show fear, Hank. So the theory show fear. The theory shows some kind of fear and like he shoots you or something. Uh. Erico admired. Snapper, you goddamn whipper snapper. I was find that word fun, whipper snapper. Just neutral. Silent we can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. 
What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Quest access at, re at reception. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. With Wilson, the daughter here, Wilson, Emily, oh. parking badge, home address, oh, the bracelet, smartwatch, model T215, phone number 555-84733. Okay. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Let's do parking. Good morning, Miss Wilson. Sorry to bother you. This is Mike from the car park. There's a problem with your car. Problem? Uh, what kind of problem? Somebody's backed into it. You better come take a look. Are you serious? Oh, God. All right. Fine, I'll be right down. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. Yeah, I forgot what the, uh, the genetic, I think it's a gen genetic mutation with I your eyes, your where one of them is the like a different color than the other. Gate. I don't know what it's Thanks. called, but it seems like Marcus has it because he got an eye from another android that wasn't his. Or that wasn't even the same color, so you know. I'm gonna guess this one right here. Yep. That'd be nice. You just type it in. Fine package in men's room. But yeah, my cafeteria is this way. I would think that the bathroom would be right near the cafeteria, but. Oh, bathroom. There's a sun, this is bathroom right there. something for a second. Yep. I would have to look for now. Alright. Find utility droid. What the fuck?
Oh, there's a utility android in there. I need your help. Fire escape. Shit! We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Hmm. We do this, they can't get any of their fucking low-calorie smoothies and shit. Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Jesus Christ, this piece of shit! All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Door? That must be a weird sound to like actually hear if you're doing it. Fuck, dude. That should hurt. Ladies first. Ladies first. Okay, cool. Alright, let's go. I like how there's no copyrighted music in here. Because, uh, it makes it really easy when I'm editing videos to not have them. To not have YouTube himself edit the song out. Or just cut the audio completely. It feels so much better for that to happen. You jumped before okay. me and I somehow got in first. Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others.
Let's do this. Cards. What do you want to do, Marcus? I don't want to kill anybody. A ruse. Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. What are you doing? Come on. Come on, Telly. Come on. Public opinion should have gone up in that. I love it, man. Dude, I swear, dude. We haven't got much time. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Leader North Home. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed, and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species, and the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. Uh. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We demand fair compensation for our work. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. Right to property? We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. Peaceful. We ask that you recognize our dignity our hopes and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! 
Good mire. Go without me. It went Simon. down. It, 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 what are you doing? Hurry! Come on, go to the bottom. Oh, I can't move my legs. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. He won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't leave him behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. We can't leave him. We're not leaving him. We will not leave him. We gotta leave him. I won't kill one of our own. Simon? We gotta go. Sorry. Simon Companion. Let's go. Let's go. We got a companion, bro. I like Simon, dude. Simon's awesome. Jump. Oh, I didn't have to press a button. That's awesome. That'd be a good headshot snipe right there. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took Public place just a few feet indifferent. from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is in fact well, a spine-chilling list of demands. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? I say to the Simon was left behind. Uh, he got killed, or I don't know. The third option is we just left him inside the room. Maybe I guess. Jesus Christ, that really works so good. Like, the fact that something like this was running on a PS4 at 30 frames even was awesome. It's an amazing kind of, like, like, move. Connor, I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Amanda trusted. Oh, I but I don't trust her though. I don't trust her though. discovered my relationship with lieutenant anderson is problematic he continues to struggle with psychological issues i suspect that clouds his judgment big regarding defense. fucking widow's peak i've Nothing ever seen in your investigation what's happening is too important don't let anderson or anyone else get in your way 
Fuck off, Amanda. The lake Hank, Hank's my best friend, though, man. Okay, Hank's you my best friend. Lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I thought I knew what I had to do. But now I realize it's not that simple. Oh, you Amanda. You have gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? I don't know. Amanda, I don't one. know. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. Nope. Conflicted. I understand. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Time is running out. So this seems like a good stopping point here. See, so yeah, that's gonna be it. I was wondering, are we friends? Uh, sure. I agree. There's no reason a human and a machine can't be friends, right? I mean, I'm glad you said yes. Accessing the extras section. So there's more artwork and soundtracks and gallery and all that. We might look at that some other episode. Alright, everybody, this is going to be it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more.